Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries. Thank you for signing up on my website and following me on multiple platforms so we can get all the space weather news out there and share it amongst the community through these social medias. What we're going to be covering today is the moon and the sun, of course. And so let's get into the moon. We are in a waning crescent in the sign of Virgo. This will possibly engage with your organs of your pancreas and your intestines. For those of you who are potentially cleansing, might be a good night to get started on that. We are going to next talk about the X-Class Solar Flare and CME that was released on October 28th into the 29th here, which you just saw. There was some very high expectations to how intense this solar storm was going to be. My mother actually texted me seconds before my Space Weather Live app, which please download your own copy of that, notified her of an X-Class solar flare and notified us both, actually. She was wondering what was going on space weather-wise and my answer came in on my phone almost immediately afterwards. We watched the CME then after this solar flare hit because it is such an instant thing. Solar flares are very fast. The CME comes after which more dense energy that follows and that is what causes a lot more of the pressure on our planetary electromagnetic field and on our own. So we were supposed to have quite the amount of pressure really come down on us today and yesterday. And the solar wind is high. It's currently 693 apparently kilometers per second. It's supposed to be 400. You can see here that over the last few hours the this, or at least since the 30th, the solar wind really has been going up. So the storm has arrived. There was a few occurrences of the K, KP index here, the K index, to hit a level 4 storm level and a level 5 storm level over the last 24 hours. But again, not too crazy. I've seen a lot more than this show up. Here is the impact that you can see on Suspicious Observer's YouTube channel. Would recommend, again, you follow that person as well for space weather. There it is because we're all working together to get the information out there. This should be global public news, of course, but it's not quite there yet. It's thanks to the word of mouth through all of us. So here's what you should be telling people now is that there is another sunspot turning to face us. So there could be more solar flares this coming week. And also you can tell them, go outside and look for the aurora because right now with the high solar wind, there is more aurora available for us to view. So go ahead and try. The extremely low frequencies on the Russian and Italian charts that measure in this range, which is also in our brainwave range, I'm seeing not as much stimulation as I was hoping. So hopefully your minds have been somewhat steady through this storm. It seems like I don't have much evidence of being too much uh, I would say, I would say causing too much impact on people. Right now I'm seeing it's actually has been very gentle, at least according to the public data. And thank you again, Space Force News, for having me on One Foot in 5D. Please do subscribe and share the love. And if you need any of the links I, I mentioned, go to my link tree link. Go to the Space Weather links down at the bottom and click and find all that you need, including to get to the apps I was talking about. It's all there. So thank you for joining me. I will see you tonight at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my channel, Ascension Diaries, to go over this in more detail. See you later.